Greetings. Today on the GPD Win 2 prototype, I'll be running various tests or benchmarks at 12 watts, 9 watts, 7 watts, 5 watts, and 3 watts just to show performance differences between the different wattages of the system. Um, let me so you can actually see. As usual, I'm undervolted to minus 60, and I'm starting with t uh, TDP at 12 watts for this first video. Now I'm running the Unigen Heaven Benchmark 4.0, the basic edition, with every setting set to low. I'm going to stick a little thing in to elevate for airflow. This test takes like five minutes, so I'll pause the video while the test is running and then resume once it begins. Okay, now I just need to click benchmark in the top left corner and away we go. So I'll be back in about five minutes, pausing for now. And we're back. You can see FPS score, minimum and max FPS on this. So now we close this and go here. You can see we were bouncing off the... we were up to 90 Celsius, we were thermally throttling. 12 watts is a bit much for the performance gains. Now we're set to 9 watts. Okay, packet temperature... 70 Celsius... okay, it's dropped down to 6... it's kind of fluctuating around there. And now we go back and run the benchmark at 9 watts. And now I pause it again, and we'll be back in a bit. Okay, we're back. You can see score is at 9 watts. Okay, there we go. It's focused. So now that this is done, we were bouncing off throttling again. Uh, production units have a better heat sink, so hopefully that'll work better for them. Or for all of you. And now we set the 7 watts. Oh, I just realized I forgot to set that. Uh, oh, great. Well, that shouldn't matter, actually. Now we run the benchmark again, and I'll be back in a bit. And we're back, and there goes my pen. You can see the scores for 7 watts. Highs and lows. I'm writing all this stuff down, so I'll show it at the end. So, let's go 5 watts now. We weren't quite, uh, we weren't uh, bouncing off the thermal limiter this time. 5 watts. I forgot to change that, but it shouldn't affect those early ones. Apply. And close this. And now we run at 5 marks. Be back in a bit. And we're back again. This time the 5 watt benchmark is done. You can see scores right here. Now we go to XTU. We were not thermal throttling despite why that's saying yes. We've been staying at around 70 Celsius at 5 watts. 70, 70, 75 is where this hovered at 5 watts. My, like, and like I said, uh, production heat sinks are better so people will probably get better scores. So now we go to 3 watts. And close and benchmark. Okay, be back in a bit. Okay, the test finished at 3 watts, and you can see the score now. So yes, um, I scribbled it all down, wrote it all down, and the FPS score, minimum and max FPS, and then difference. Um, as you can see, I'm thermally throttling for higher wattages. Um, let's see, at 12, uh, there's 8.4 difference for me in FPS between 9 and 12 watts, 3.1% between 7 and 9, 20% between 5 and 7, and 30, around 31% between 3 and 5 watts. And then I also, I tested in February my Win 1 using the same benchmark score. There's a 29% difference for the Win 2 running at 3 watts, and then the Win 1, which kind of runs around similar. Obviously, production, as I've said, production units should have a better heat sink, so people might get better scores. But this is kind of what I get with under CPU and GPU undervolted to minus 60. So that kind of gives a baseline point of reference. 
Well, yeah, five minute long video, not too bad. I hope this is of some interest to some of you. Hello, doggy. But yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so, benchmarking's done. That's all for today. Goodbye.